Welcome back to another video of Smith's Fishing Outdoors, and today we're on the Shields in Eau Claire. We're with uh, Fishing Department Manager Connor, and we're going to go through the muskie section. If you guys didn't know, this Shields has one of the biggest muskie sections in the Chippewa Valley, I'd say. It's pretty big. Let's go through it. So we brought in some new baits, uh, some of the ones I'm really proud of. Last year we brought in Spankies. Got a bunch of different colors. Um, Spankies are pretty cool. We actually order them. You can choose the blade and the skirt color so you can mix and match. Um, so we kind of gather as a crew and pick some of our favorite colors. Um, I think this has got to be one of my favorites here. So I got the 8 9. Good color. Yep, stagger blade. That's uh, kind of a big thing nowadays. And uh, cut a lot of fish on them. So that's kind of one of my favorites. Uh, we got some musky safari. Maybe not as well known brand. Uh, we just got some lake accent. I would love to bring more in. We got toads. Uh, I think everything but the big size probably cannonball and uh, we're kind of getting picked over already but uh, i would say anything black's been my favorite and probably the blackbird's always been my go-to so uh, we got some lungeon would love to bring in some more of that maybe some different sizes uh, and then the other one we got pretty decent colors and the, the innovations so some shallow invaders swimming dogs obviously your bulldogs Rotten cucumber. Oh yeah. You got yeah. stories on rotten cucumber? <laughs> Ours is pretty chewed up. <laughs> you know, bet you no know, dad, we might be able to buy another one. Yeah, we probably need another one. <laughs> yeah. I like how you guys have Joe Booker Tackle, you got top raiders, your depth raiders, everything Joe Booker. It's a good color right there. You got, Actually, uh me and me and the girlfriend are doing muskie league this year and she caught she caught one last year but this year for a league she caught two one was a little short but both are actually on that natural perch depth raider and i for whatever reason never really troll it myself but i've had like three different people in the boat now that have caught fish on that little little depth raider so that's baby a, depth raider for this time of year i don't know if there's something to that but uh that's kind of one of my favorites for for this time Excellent, that's a good tip. That is a good tip. We got some rapple up here, you got... Where do you use all the good rapples? Uh, Shad wraps. I think we use those at uh, Green Bay. Green Bay, yeah, certainly. Musky Safari, there's some bucktails down here. Ooh, this looks like a good flow edge color. They make a good quality tail. Suix, of course. Suix. We're big fan of Suix. I love Suix. This is probably one of my favorite colors right here. That sucker pattern, 10 inch. Sucker. Yep. Weighted and unweighted. I mean, there's kind of a um, bonus for each one. I mean, one will work a little bit shallower than the other. Depends or, on the time of year. Yep. One will hang a little bit. Exactly. What about chaos, man? Chaos. You, have, you guys have a lot of chaos baits. Certainly. Poseidons. We've done so well on Poseidon swim baits. Orange and black. This one right here. There's only one left on the peg. <laughs> and uh, that's a real good one. Um, Medusas. Talk about the deuces. I like mid Medusas a lot. Especially this color actually looks really good. That's the mini though. The mini? We have the mids, mids be right, right there. Here. Mm -hmm. That's a nice color mid. We got another mid. Actually, I really like that color. I mean, hookup ratio is super great on these. They're not. People might think they're too small, but you could throw a, you could probably throw a, a mini or where's the smallest one? You could probably catch a muskie on that. I've caught muskies on bass top water. Yeah, that so. micro actually on days like you, know, you throw the stuff you normally catch them on, and I've actually caught quite a few fish throwing a little a micro. Yeah. And it's just I don't know, looks too small, but they'll eat them. And if you take a look at it, you know, look at a regular Medusa right here, and you look at a, a mid. A mid is 11 inches long, just a little narrower in the body, and and the regular is 13 inches long, just a little fatter in the body. That's really the only difference. And and uh, so you can throw this with you know any rod that you want. Yeah. And uh, they work really good too. 
always never had any problems with them not running bad do you think that having like that bigger flat bottom just kind of i know a lot of guys are like ripping them over weeds a lot do you think that helps like versus maybe even a bulldog you know it's just a slimmer profile do you think those might hang better over the weeds or not necessarily well i think i think your bulldogs have a tendency they're more up downs sure because they're more they're more farther weight forward where your medusas i mean i mean one good pattern and presentation with the medusa is a literally casted in you know weeds where you're only got like two three feet on top and you're just power ripping it over the top and um you know that's that's, that's a good technique yeah so got tubes fisher Ooh. musky innovations tubes we got uh Surge colors we got again. shallow invaders um swimming dogs i like the smaller swimming dogs i catch a lot of fish on those in the fall you catch a lot of fish on this on the shallow invader there's no crappy color <laughs> is that the color that's the color oh, i better get on that <laughs> i always like the pickleback there picklebacks it's like out. you can't go wrong with the pickleback no. pickleback huh? that and uh yeah this guy i like throwing the big ones yeah yeah bigger swimming dog pickleback for sure pickleback <laughs> pro dog pro dog i i swear there's about four mid 40s a year goes in our boat on a pickleback pro dog <laughs> i can name three last year <laughs> you we got have little companies that i don't even know i've never not, even not too familiar with this company but it looks like a pretty good spinner bait no, musky that's, spinner bait. that's one like the musky spinner bait i feel like is missing from a lot of tackle shops and i kind of just started to get into it getting into it and I mean, we had some lungeon ones but just something to kind of fill that void mm -hmm. in, in the weeds and it just works really good and something that not everyone throws and not every shop carries so i figured that'd be a good one and that's have. the key thing not everything shop can be i mean what do you think is there is there if there's any ideas that cost that uh mem subscribers think that they should carry in the store you yeah know? comment down below any baits that you guys want to see in the store or even colors comment that comment that down below and and we'll definitely, you know, definitely take that consideration. Yeah, absolutely. I'm trying to kind of replace some things and, and get it figured out. I and mean, there's a lot of, a lot of bait companies that I'd love to have in here. And we just got to figure out which ones we can and can't get and go from there. But the op options are endless, I would say. We got some maps here, like casual bucktails, we got marabous. And... Those marabou bucktails, I mean, the They're way they bad. flare, especially on a single, I mean, that's the key. I'm not always crazy about doubles on marabou because it sucks it back up in but when it comes to the singles no nah, it works good they work good and then we got savage gear mm -hmm. we got inline trouts where would you use those um i would use them like behind a dam either offshore or in a boat For some reason fish behind dams are just stupid it's like that current it's a good bait and current good bait very yeah. good bait and current yep harassers i mean the old Windell harassers. I don't think I've ever thrown one of those. I got some old ones from I years ago when I fished Leech Lake. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got that willow blade. It's kind of a. I think that's the only willow blade we have on a bucktail. Mm -hmm. That can be a good one. Yeah, something different. Uh, different blades right now. Like you know, anytime we're talking stagger blades or anything or willows. Um, musky mayhem. Musky mayhem. I mean, we got some really nice musky mayhem. That's um, a really nice color. Right the there. electric bunny. Yep. I like that color. What's some of your favorites? I mean, you got you got golds. The go the gold double showgirl. Double showgirl. We got cowgirls. Yep. Everything. The juniors down there. Are you a purple fan? I'm over a gold fan. I like gold and black. Like this is a really nice color. Yeah, I'm a big purple fan. <laughs> I love purple. Purple and gold blade. That's like probably one of my favorites. But I'd love to get some like detonators and triggers in here. That'd be. That's be also great. a really nice color right yep. there. The trigger, the triggers are really hot. You gotta, you gotta get some triggers in. Yeah, we're gonna Seven try. Gotta, probably next order we go through. I'm gonna try to add them. And... That would be awesome. Yep. Um, 
Well, they're just our shields brand. The shields so brand tiger tails. If you're not looking to spend a ton of money, yeah, to get a to get a decent bucktail. Um, yeah, I mean they're they're not bad at all. Some good colors. Yeah, some Got some tyrant giant. stuff. Yep, same kind of thing. Just kind of a price point. Someone's not looking to spend a ton of money and just get into it. Those are perfect. Get a big prop style top water. Uh, I got some, some twitch baits, maybe if you wanted to troll. So definitely some options. Excellent. And, you know. We got some Jakes here. Jakes. I'm a big and fan of Tennis Jakes. Tennis Jakes have, have put a lot of fish in the boat for us. Um, they built pretty well. Got the some really, really nice. Both, actually. So. Tire out your arm if you're casting them for a long time, but. See, I've only trolled them, but I could imagine. Just flat sided like that. Hellhounds, Fisher. Oh, I like Hellhounds. We got some believers here, too. You have like a weighted line, mm -hmm. they call it. That's like a good color. Even some yeah. jigs, yeah. some musky jigs. I mean, that's. You don't, normally, really... you don't normally see that in, in most stores. No, so. and, and actually, I kind of came out of this two years ago now, but early season on the river, if you throw those jigs, they love them. You know, they're. Jigs seem to be overlooked like a lot. Yeah. Everybody throws the top water baits, banner top water baits, but throw a jig. Muskies don't see them a lot. So And your and your terminal stuff. You gotta have you gotta good have leaders. Terminals. I mean uh, musky innovation makes a good leader, stealth makes a really good leader. Um, you know, you just you got some good stuff here. Hook Even phones. a local brand here. I mean Tom Riedel makes this uh um, musky madness baits he makes the probably one of the uh, really sweet globes I mean you got it good there's some really good stuff that you got in this store yeah. that's my favorite hook file Files. too just a little bit smaller and seem to last quite a long time gotta have a hook file yeah. exactly what do you got for rods and reels that you carry here yeah we're running a little low on the reels but uh normally we would have your tranks 400 and 500 um, I think right now we're kind of well stocked on the, the Daiwas. Um, I got one of those Pro Rexes last year, so this guy. Mm -hmm. And I got it, I think it's a 5.3, and I put that on my bucktail rod, and I love that thing. I got that too. It's been a really good yeah. one. Yep. Great reels. Um, I've had the Revos before, I still have them in the store, but another super high quality, two different gear ratios. Uh, some lefty and some righty. Calcutta. Yep, That's yep. Another nice reel. And then, yeah, again, if you're not trying to, you know, a lot of these low profile reels are around $300. If you wanted something, just getting into it, maybe don't want to spend that much money. You got all the ambassadors, or most of them, I should say. So kind of starting at. Bread and butter. That's what I yep. started out with, Fisher. 80 bucks, kind mm -hmm. of going up to maybe 170 for the C4. Mm hmm. But super solid. And then rods, you want to look at some rods? Let's see what you got. So, All right. so here are a few rods. This is a 7.6 Heavy. I would probably use this rod for top or for some jerk baits because I like shorter rods for jerk baits because you can really pop that end of the rod in your hand. Yep. And then uh, also in the Shields line, I've got an 8.6 Heavy. So probably a really good all around. Probably heavy enough to rip some rubber long enough get a good uh figure eight throw some bucktails and i've got an eight foot extra heavy which would be probably a decent um like jerk baits or suix uh, maybe some of the hellhounds and then probably especially rubber you know if you really want to get after it and rip some rubber that's going to be a really good one and those are only 110 for the eight foot and the eight foot six and 100 for the seven six so really inexpensive yeah when it comes to musky rods yep. and but good quality mm -hmm. and shields definitely you guys back your products too so yep for your warranty basically if something happens while you're fishing you bring it to us and we get you a new one um i know i just got the girlfriend that um just being a little smaller but i think it, it's working really good so far just not not too much for her to handle i guess um and then other than the shields rods We've got some of the new Daiwa Pro Rex. Those were last year they came out. Put these back quick. But they've got the, for 170, 
um, telescoping. So this is an eight foot six. We have heavy and medium heavy. So if you're a shore fisherman, and I do a lot of shore fishing, that would be one that pretty much fits anywhere. Um, it's got a nice but grip then, on it too. Yep. And I love that swept back handle too. And then, uh, but it's going to extend if you're shore fishing. You nice know, to haul in the car. Exactly. That's where you really, I mean, we, we, we run some chaos rods that are, that are that way and we just, just nice in the, in the, in November when you can tuck them in, you don't have to leave a window open. Yep. And then kind of along those same lines, this is actually the one I like running right now. Uh, it's a Mojo Muskie St. Croix. Uh, this one is a nine foot heavy, but it's telescoping again. So this is, uh, this will fit in the back of my truck and then I still get, you know, a nine foot rod once you're out fishing. So quite a few mojos, I uh, got the telescoping ones and then I think all the way down to the 7.2, another kind of jerkbait kind of rod. Uh, and then I got the St. Croix Triumphs, so kind of St. Croix's price point musky rod. And then the Premier's been around forever. So pretty good selection there too. Excellent. Well, that was a lot of fun going through a bunch of musky baits, rods, and reels. So if you guys want to come to Shields in Eau Claire, because there's a big musky section, and Dad, we need to buy a few musky baits. I, I, <laughs> we just have to. So if you guys like the video, hit the like and subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next adventure.